I'm Corey Kellum with Phoenix LiDAR Systems, and in this video, we will help you to understand the fundamentals of LiDAR, so stay tuned. If you are new to LiDAR, you've come to the right place. This video will introduce you to the fundamentals of LiDAR concepts, including what is the purpose of LiDAR, how is LiDAR used, how does LiDAR work, and what does this technology do? Let's begin with the purpose of LiDAR. LiDAR, or Light Detection and Ranging, is a tool used to quickly, accurately, and densely measure 3D features from the world around us. LiDAR is a form of remote sensing, meaning we aren't physically measuring things with our hands, but rather using sensors. To measure topography, vegetation, or other data across large areas, we need remote sensing methods that can take many measurements quickly, easily, and accurately. LiDAR sensors can take hundreds of thousands of measurements each second and are represented in the form of a point cloud. The point cloud can be used in various analytical processes to take distance measurements, compute volumes, and model objects in three dimensions. Let's move on to talk about applications for this technology. A LiDAR system can be used for a variety of use cases. LiDAR can be used for vegetation structure mapping, including vegetation height, density, and other characteristics across a region for analyzing vegetation over large areas. Surveyors use LiDAR to rapidly map topography in vegetated areas significantly faster than conventional survey methods in a safe and reliable manner. LiDAR is used in utility management to monitor vegetation encroachment on power lines and provide accurate change detection models for pipelines, railroad tracks, and waterways. It is also utilized for roadway and highway construction projects in the form of planning, as-built mapping, and for roadway maintenance assessments. LiDAR data provides accurate volume measurements at regular intervals for complex and intricate mining products. Some forms of LiDAR sensors can even penetrate water to map the submerged surface below. This process is known as bathymetric LiDAR mapping. In this way, LiDAR is used to monitor the shoreline of land-water interface environments along rivers, reservoirs, oceans, and more. So how does LiDAR work? LiDAR is an active remote sensing system, meaning that the LiDAR system itself actively generates laser pulses used to take the measurements. These laser pulses are pulses of light that travel from the sensor to the ground and reflect off of things like buildings and tree branches. The reflected signal then returns to the LiDAR sensor where it is recorded and stored as a distance. So how does LiDAR measure distance? In addition to emitting a laser pulse, a LiDAR system measures the time between when each pulse is sent from the system to the time it is reflected back to the sensor. Since the speed of light is known, we can calculate distance using a simple mathematical formula. Distance equals speed times time. With the help of positioning and orientation sensors within the LiDAR system, distance is then represented as an elevation. Specifically, a GPS or GNSS identifies the X, Y, and Z location of the LiDAR system and its position in the physical world. And an inertial measurement unit, or IMU, provides the orientation, or roll, pitch, and yaw of the LiDAR system as it collects data. Position measurements are typically collected once every second. Orientation measurements are typically collected between 125 to 400 times per second. These position and orientation sensors are critical components and are integral for every aerial LiDAR system to precisely calculate where and when each point is collected. In summary, a LiDAR system is an active remote sensing system composed of components that emit the laser, receive a return signal, and calculate the system's position and orientation to produce a geospatially accurate depiction of the world around us in the form of a 3D point cloud. So how can LiDAR measure the ground through trees? A laser pulse emits light energy as a bundle of photons. As these photons move towards the ground, they hit objects such as buildings, trees, and ground vegetation. In the case of trees and vegetation, some of the photons reflect off the branch and return immediately to the sensor. However, some of the photons actually pass through the gaps in the tree, striking other features like lower branches or even the ground before returning to the LiDAR sensor. In this way, multiple reflections may be recorded from one pulse of light. In the LiDAR industry, this is known as multiple returns. Some LiDAR systems return two returns, some three, some four, and some even return up to 15 returns to the sensor. This depends on the power of the laser used in the system and a few other factors. The result is a point cloud with true 3D representation of both the vegetation and ground data. So to recap, LiDAR, or light detection ranging, is a tool used to quickly, accurately, and densely measure 3D features from the world around us. 
Millions of LiDAR returns, or measurements, containing X, Y, and Z values are compiled and stored as a point cloud, which can be used in various analytical processes to take measurements, compute volumes, and more. LiDAR data can be used to estimate tree height, measure power line sag, detect changes in topography from one date to another, and numerous other applications. In the next few weeks, we will release a follow-up video explaining LiDAR system technology in more detail, how to produce high-accuracy drone-based LiDAR data, and what's needed for optimization. We hope you enjoyed this video. Phoenix LiDAR Systems is dedicated to making and sharing high-quality content on this channel. So if you learned something, please subscribe and hit the like button. And if you have any questions for us, be sure to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.